All right. Reload. Let's get this party started. First, edit camera so it looks like less trash. Camera enhance. Nope. It's a little bit of a boomer out here. White balance. That should be better. Okay, title. Building landscapes and talking. Sure, this thing should make another freaking thumbnail. Oh, should be good. Open, perfect. Nope, not made for kids. Tags, we do tags for a thing or anything. Change this now. <sighs> Take out testing game capture because I'm not doing that yet. Sweet, it's good. I'm gonna mute it because I don't need two of me talking. I'm already talking here. Okay, can shut the door. A glimpse of my extravagant clothing known as flannel pajamas. Alright, we're back. Alright, so today I'm gonna be building a little bit of a landscape. I got a kind of cool idea using these right here. Bricks here, make sure it's coming up on the, the live stream all right. Yep, all right. So yeah, using these and some gray stuff to create something cool, so. That's kind of what I'm gonna do today. Who's at the door, cat or a sibling? Dog, that's yeah, fine. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Leon? You seem to be a frequent visitor of these parts. How's it going? All right, so let's get the business here. Use some red filler, fill it in. I'm gonna cover it with some gray. And contrary to what it looks like, it's not gonna look awful. Cause I have a plan. Let's so get into it. Huh? How do you do this again? Oh yeah, one from the sides. So you can make a barrier around. Forgot about that part. So anyway. What's going on, Leon? How you doing today? What's, what, is, what are you up to? What's going on in your neck of the woods? 
for me, I'm kind of just... Today's my day off, or one of my days off, so I'm just kind of chilling around. Played some magic today. And, uh, I'm just and then I'm going to play more magic later with my friends. And uh, that's kind of what I'm going to do today. So, not a whole lot happening down in these parts. But, you know, it's quarantine. No, I say that, but quarantine's pretty much over. Basically, using a quarantine as an excuse to not do anything. But hey, not everything's open yet. So, who knows? Who knows? I'm just here. I've been watching a lot. Oh, hang on. One uno momento. I forgot I can plug my headphones in and a bit of better speaker. Alright, that should be better. Alright, so let the games begin. As a movies, today I was going to talk about maybe one of my favorite movies, maybe some movie related topics, even though I haven't been watching any movies uh, in like ever. The last movie I think I watched was probably Harry Potter in January before I went to uh, Disney before the world got on fire. And Harry Potter movies are, are weird for me. I never really had a fondness of Harry Potter or anything, anything related to them. So I kind of watched them as as a guy, and as a guy, they kind of just infuriated me sometimes because. It's like, oh, here's this character in this one movie for five five minutes. Oh, I like him. Oh, now he's dead. Oh, wow. Well. He was cool, and now he's gone. <laughs> That's what the later movies were. Just like, oh, here's this guy that was kind of cool from the re recent uh, movie Dead. Oh, who's this from Dead? Who's this chick dead? Oh, guess I guess I can't like them anymore because they're in the grave. I kind of have a problem with the Harry Potter movies. That's why I don't like Deathly Hallows that much. It's because <laughs> it was die. And it's not really, like, off screen, too. Like, on screen is fine, but it's just like, oh, they died off screen. Oh, this guy died off screen. It's like, why? And people are like, well, you gotta read the books. You gotta read the books to understand the lore. It's like, I don't want to read the books. I don't like reading. Okay. I don't have to read a novel to understand. Dumb movie. Okay. Right, I gotta get some great pieces. Be right back. BRB. Kids say. Um. Alright, we back. I don't know if I'm gonna upload this one to uh, the channel regularly. I might. But we'll see. Oh, Wi Fi's getting a little low. Scoot that closer to the router. Maybe it'll. It'll help, but I gotta do the black perimeter now, or the gray perimeter, and then we'll get on to the fun stuff. Oh, should we watch the stream and not some dumb YouTube video? There we go. This is gonna be pretty cool when it's done, if I can do it right. If I can do it right, which I think I can, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll certainly see. Oh, sorry guys. I just ate like 10 pounds of pizza and you get like those, whenever I eat something egregiously unhealthy, it's like, oh, time to burp for the next 10 centuries, so. Apologies if you hear some of that, but it's about it. Oh. Harry Potter rant. I'm going Harry Potter rant again. Yeah, I didn't really... To me, the best Harry Potter movies are the ones that were in the beginning. Because they just like, oh, it's fun. Look at this. Look at all this stuff happening. Look at all these flying brooms. And, and not dead children. And then... I mean, it's not like I... Don't... <laughs> children are awful in movies, so like... I'm fine with them dying, right? But there's kind of something whimsical about the first ones that... I feel like I kind of lost... As time went by, alright, now I need, now we're done with those, gotta bring in layer one. 
I'm watching the stream behind me. It's like ten seconds to play, but whatever. I'm gonna play fill in the blanks. I was originally gonna do a much larger one. I was gonna use. I was gonna use this. But I figured just a test for this for this design. I'm not gonna go full fledged. I may actually do this on a big scale for a uh, Lego convention coming up in September, which is gonna be fun to go to a convention. I thought all of them would be destroyed with the with Barona, but Barona did not destroy this one, which I'm happy. It just got moved to September, so I'm gonna go there with the local R.I. Lug. First time I'm gonna go somewhere with a lug, and it's gonna be pretty, pretty dang fun. Oh shoot! Yeah, it's fun. I sh I forgot you need to. Yeah, I'll fix it. You need to build the dumb things off center, so that way you can put uh, these things over it. I'm a bit rusty. And by a bit rusty, I mean I mean a lot rusty. I haven't done this in a long time. I'm kind of on a Lego hiatus, believe it or not. Like, no, I should have break for a while. I was hunting all the Overwatch achievements for quarantine, and then I was like, eh, I'm just gonna take a break from Lego. And now I'm doing the exact opposite, taking a break from Overwatch, I'm playing a lot of Magic, a lot of Magic, getting my 15 daily wins every day, because every day uh, in Magic, if you do, you can do 15 wins, and every win you get like rewards and stuff. So. I'm a free to player. I'm not giving Wizards of the Coast my money, but that's a story for another day. So, I just play every day, get the weekly wins, get the daily wins, play with my friends all the time. It's kind of. It's a really fun game. I think about streaming it, maybe. Not more for the game, just more to talk to people and have something in the background, so. But thinking about doing that a little more often. But, we'll see how it is. Oh, one thing I should talk about is I've been <laughs> reached 650 subscribers the other day, which blows my mind because in January I reached 100 and I got 150 in like <laughs> not a long time. So that's kind of that's really cool to see. Really cool to see. And I don't know, I'm just kind of <laughs> really excited and happy because I think if I. If I took this seriously, right, I could probably turn this into, like, a real thing. Like, I could start gaining some steam. And maybe start to actually turn this channel into something, but I haven't taken it seriously, so. Because after all, it's a Lego channel. But there's always that thought in my head. What if, uh, what if I start, start doing stuff, you know? Could become a thing, so. Probably something to think about. I know other people who, I, who are big now, bigger, have said that they've had like less than 650 when they started taking it seriously, so maybe I should, but who knows. When I start these live streams, I kind of go like, oh, what am I going to say, what am I going to say, but as I go through them, it just comes easier, because I just have to talk about me, which isn't that hard. Well, usually it's hard because I'm not a, uh, a big talking guy. Unless you sit me in the park. But get me going. I'll talk about myself, sure. So with this, I have like bring grandma vein hands. What's going on here? What's going on here? What I drink drink fluids? Is that what it is? Is it ASMR thing? Layer's almost done. Just gonna do this all the way across and then, then get to the fun stuff. Nah, I'm gonna do that. I need six wide. There we go. So they can overlap and create a bit of a, of a nice angle or a nice thing for all these things to hang on so then. They won't break if I if I hit it a lot. So that's why I'm doing that. 
That one's a bit discolored, but it's not going to matter in the end because all this is getting done over anyway. Ready for this? <coughs> there it is. I'm going to gross out everybody in leaving. That's how you do it. Need to build this more outwards, so people can see it more. That just might want eye holes that are seeing this. Dylan's eye holes as well, I believe. So, yeah, I'm gonna be doing this. When it comes in, we'll get talking, but for right now, I'm just trying to chill. Chill, I got some cool stuff on the way. Some definitely cool stuff indeed, I got. What I like to call the not gay speeder. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll title it. I don't know. I haven't titled it yet, but I have a speeder coming out. That was really fun to make. So that video will be coming out soon. Maybe I have all these uploaded. I just have to schedule them. Then I got some more tutorials, like the one that I just got uploaded with the loader bot, which is way easier to make because they don't require me to talk, and I can just blow through them pretty easy. I need a certain piece that I can't find. I know everybody's been there. But I'll do this. Do that first. And then we'll try to find it. How's everybody doing? Everybody, <laughs> everybody not on fire? Everybody still alive? After 2016, or, sorry, 2020, same thing. Seems determined to wipe us out. Seems pretty, <laughs> pretty dang determined. But, we're here. We're still living, right? Ooh, I shouldn't do that because then, on the. What the heck is that? That won't fly. And that's do gray. It's a little discolored. Which is fine for here, but. Not for the outside, because you actually see. I'm going to use my special. My special blue. Blue brick separated because I'm special like that. Um, God, how many times can you say the word special in one sentence? Alright, there we go. That's better. And then this just fell out, and it's an exact copy of what I needed. It just fell out of the bag. That's pretty lucky. Please go back. I'm trying to not make a mess. Because when I when I build mocks, sometimes I just make I spew everything everywhere, and then it takes like two hours to clean up, and I just don't. I just want to be more efficient. Alright, now we're going to blue. This is where it's going to get a little bit fun. Let me coat the whole thing in blue. I got... I got all these bricks at Pickle Brick in, uh... Florida. You know, I mean, can you imagine traveling to Disney? Imagine what that is? Yeah. I did that in January and I got all these really cool pieces. Which I plan to use right about now. Because I got an idea there. And then... It's finally getting done, uh... <laughs> almost six months later. But... Better late than never, right? That's what I say. That's what you know, everybody says, I guess. But, dude... I'm gonna tell a story about that. That Lego store, right? When I walked in there... It was like walking into heaven. I swear to God. It was like... Maybe 10 a.m. Right when we went there, we uh, we had we we're gonna go see Jumanji that day because we were we didn't have a ticket to a park, so we were just strolling around to see what we were gonna do. We're gonna go see Jumanji at uh, Disney Springs, so we had some time to kill. And the two guys that I was with, my friend and his dad, they are not uh, Lego boys. I know, blasphemy. So they went they went off and did their thing. Hey, Mr. Fliff. <laughs> I like that name. Mr. Fliffery Flopper. What's going on? Talking about the, uh, the Disney, the Lego store at Disney Springs in Florida. So anyway, they went off and did their own thing, my friend and my dad. And I was like, alright, I got some time to kill in the Lego store. Because the first time we went to Disney Springs on that trip, it was rush hour. And we were like, you know what, let's go to, what? Let's go to Disney Springs, the, like the biggest mall around in rush hour. That'd be a great idea. It was not, evidently, a great idea. We were, <laughs> we missed the, we missed the entrance to Disney Springs like three times, because we didn't know how to get in, and 
we <laughs> and we finally get in. It was Blitzkrieg. I didn't even go in the Lego store. I was like, I'm not dealing with this. There was like hordes of hordes of Fortnite children everywhere, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> this isn't for me right now. So luckily, we came back that second day. I got a new chat. See what it is. Nothing much. This is a good story. Thanks. All right. It's gonna it's gonna continue. It's gonna get it's gonna get good. If it's not already good, but that might be up to you. But anyway, so it was like 10 a.m. here, and there was like five people. There was like five people in the store, and I, and I walk into the store in Disney Springs, and it's like I walked into heaven. I kid you not. Everybody was so nice. Everybody in there were big Lego fans. The employees, the people in there. There was this older guy, maybe like 60, and he was at the Pick a Brick store talking to everybody about how he's getting his mocks together and how he's improving his. His, uh, his Lego town, and and they're like, oh yeah, so it must have been like a, a regular guy. Come on, get on there. He must have been a regular there. And they're just like, oh, that's nice, and they're all talking it up over there. And then the employees were all like bringing out all the pick a brick bins from the back so we could get all those pieces for our city. And it was so cool, and then I was wearing my... And Disney, at Disney, I was like, all right, I'm going to wear a shirt. We had our parks planned out, what days we're going to do. I was like, all right, I'm going to wear a shirt one day every day, right? And we were doing the World of Avatar later that day. So I was like, I'm going to wear my uh, Banshee shirt. I have this shirt. It's like two neon Banshees in a tree, and it looks really cool. And one of the employees comes up, and she's like, she makes a, she was like, a fan of Banshees, I guess. Uh or she's like, I don't know, a fan of Banshees, I assume, and I was like, yeah, and then we started talking, and then she's like, oh, I'm gonna get, get one from there, the robotic ones, I'm gonna name it the after, I can't think of the name, but she's gonna name it after Destiny, and I was like, oh, you play Destiny too, and we were talking about Destiny and stuff, and then Lego, and it was just such a nice, such a nice environment, it was all quiet, nobody was there, it was just Disney Springs at like 10 a.m. on a Wednesday. Nobody's there. We talked for a while. Really nice conversation. And then, you know, I filled up, I think, three pick a brick containers, which is the most I've ever done. I mean, it's, it's nothing compared to the, you know, the big guys who who fill up like a billion pick a brick containers in, uh, <laughs> at once. But that was a, little, that was a lot for me because I was like, oh, man, I got this, this gift card. I'm going to use it. Didn't end up working because the gift card reader was broken, but... And, I, and that actual gift card didn't end up working later. But I didn't have the best stint of luck. I also lost my glasses <laughs> a few days after in Disney. I didn't have the best stint of luck there, but I didn't care. Because I was, at that point, I just had such a fun experience in that Lego store. I was like, the gift card could be nothing. I'll just pay with my, pay with my debit card. I don't care. It was a, oh, I also <laughs> I lost my luggage that day, too. I lost my luggage the day we came in. And I didn't have any clothes for, like, three days. But it sounds like bad luck, but I didn't care. It was just so fun. So I checked out another guy. He was really cool. And then I was coming out. Because, like, even in the store, everybody everybody in there. And it wasn't, like, what you would stereotypically think of, like, you know, overweight, middle-aged men or, or children. It was just everybody. Everybody. There was just there was women, dudes, college-age people, sports jocks more nerdier people, like, everybody in there, like, all, like, five or ten, were just really, just different people, and it was nice to see everybody just coming together to support their love of Lego, and I checked out, they, uh, they came, and we went, and so we see Jumanji, which was a nice movie, I, I didn't even see Jumanji 1, I still haven't, I just saw Jumanji 2, and, uh, it was really good, I was pretty impressed, pretty impressed, so, that was my my Lego journey there, and that's where I got all these nice blues. So yeah, thanks, Mr. Flippity Flopper. I appreciate it. So now, basically, after I did all these blues, right? Is oh man, should I? I was thinking like from the side, because it looked blue. Should I make the outer rim uh, gray or no? I'll say leave it blue, leave it blue, blue boy gang. So, basically what I'm going to do now is, this is going to be more of a river, right? Or, and it's going to be, it's going to be a river either going down the middle, or going 
a cliffside here and this going straight. But what I'm going to do with a like an island right there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to here's the here's the game plan. Make a cliff edge right here. Make a island over here using these and then angled gray pieces. And then what I'm going to do is build a arch climbing up like that way and then build a support on that bridge and then make a second layer up there and then put another Makamaya on that first layer and what's going to happen is the top layer is going to be all like volcanic ash and have a ton of lava running through it and the bottom layer is going to be like all these uh, alien trees and different different rivers and stuff that's the plan anyway I got some good pieces for it all down here I got tons of crystals of all the colors. I got this, I like a waterfall if I want to do that. I got a lot of good stuff planned. So, I'm going to do that. So first I'm going to see how thick I want this other side. It's going to be kind of based off of uh, my dark crystal mock that I did in like November. How that was built. It's going to be kind of based off of that, to be honest. It's going to be. Like the floor plan? Thanks. I like it too. Hopefully, it'll go fine and not be uh, <laughs> a colossal failure. Like the mock, like the mock that I was going to, that caused the mock that I'm going to release next. I'm, I'm going to rephrase that. It's not like the mock that I started that was an utter failure that led to the mock I'm going to be vi uh, showcasing next video. Pretty confusing, but I had a disastrous failure that I'm going to talk about in that video, but I'll leave that out. <laughs> I'll leave that out for now. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking of what I should do here. I'm thinking if I, should I, sounds good, Chief? I like it. Chief, it sounds, man, got a high authority here. I'm clearly thinking here. Should I make one cliff and an island, which I think that's what I'm going to do, or make another cliff over here? I think I'm going to make the island, because I already did the other cliff on the dark crystal thing. I don't want to do that again. I like doing new stuff. So, hmm. That might be too big. Let me start by laying out the outside. So that, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'll do the island. I'm going to start by laying the outer rim of the thing and then working backwards. That way I can adjust what this is going to be without having to rip these off. So I'm going to need like a lot of these. Start, start dishing them out. Three people. Oh my god. Hey, what's going on, TJ Bricks? What's happening? We're building. We're going to build like a cliffside over here. And then what we're going to do is smash that like button. Thank you. Give it a good smash it for me, huh? Oh. No, I'm not paying attention. Um, so, basically what I'm going to do is build a cliffside here, build a little island here, make a cliff coming up that way. The island is going to be a support beam going to the top, and I'm going to make another layer up there. Assuming this all just doesn't collapse under its own weight, which could happen. But, I guess it's a big, big thing. Big thing of bricks of all these sloped things, all colors, and I'm going to have to use those, but first I'm going <laughs> to... Have you guys ever done this? You have to look at your own mocks from the past to think of inspiration on how to do stuff. I have to look at my own things to see how I should do something. I gotta go back. I gotta go back to the dark crystal mock. I really do. Oh, 249, uh-oh. We're dipped below 650. That's fine. We'll get back soon enough. Alright, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. this has been a while ago, I gotta... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Dark Crystal Spiders? There we are. Here we are. View on YouTube. Uh, Alright, let's see what we did here. Oh, that's more of a... Hmm. Okay. Alright. I see how I did it there. That would be a really good system to use. 
I destroyed my phone because I smashed it so hard. I appreciate it. Hopefully your phone is in proper condition still. And maybe resurrect it with, I don't know, Apple magic. I don't know if you have Apple. If you're one of those Apple peasants. I'm just kidding. Do you think that the Overwatch team killed the game? I kind of think so, but not sure. I do not think they killed the game. I think the game... I think a lot of people, right? A lot of people think of Overwatch as, like, the heyday, right? They're thinking about the Overwatch when it was really popular as, like, the, as like the heyday. That's where the game was. Best of stuff. I will say, definitive right now, the game is way better than it was back then. People kind of look at it with rose-tinted glasses and not acknowledge just the blatant flaws back then. Like, certain characters just kind of not being as useful as they are now. They reworked characters to be better. Symmetra, Bastion, Torbjorn. You know, and... Comp system's way better. Some things needed to be nerfed. Some things need to be buffed. And I think, while the original Overwatch is nice, the game itself had to grow with its popularity. And it had to mature with the game. And I think a lot of the people are like, oh, it's dead or it's dying. No, I think just it initiated, there's a giant boom in 2016 when it first came out. And I think that after that giant boom, like all games, people start leaving. Like you're seeing that with Fortnite, like you did. And you're seeing that kind of right now. Um, a lot of a lot of games have that first boom where everybody's playing it. And it, it dips down a little bit, but it still has like that, that core fan base. And I think that's kind of what you're seeing. So I don't think Overwatch is dying. Or like they killed the game necessarily. I just think that the core player base is going to be there. Any, like anything, Destiny, Fortnite, whatever. And I think it's just getting its stable population. I really want Overwatch. Yeah, it's it's my favorite game ever. So that's something for you. All right, so new game plan. I think I think new game plan. Mm. Now I'm gonna go with my original plan. I'm not gonna make it like the Dark Crystal one. It's gonna be original. Huh? I should have bring out a ton of sloped garbage. So I can do this. Dude. That could be useful. Probably could have done this ahead of time, but I don't think it had ever. So I got that going for me, huh? How are you, man? Nice. I'm doing pretty dang well. How are you? How are you? I something happened this week. This is a little bit of a bummer, but I'm not gonna get into that because it just rather infuriates me, and I I don't like to be angry. I like to just chillax, build some Lego, just have a good time. You know? That's what I like to do. Alright, so I'm going to build the island something like this. So the island's going to be some time, something like this in the middle. It's going to be like that. I really need to get some clone. I'm assuming you mean clone troopers. Which, good, good luck, dude. I'm lucky that I bought just various clone troopers at different points. Like, my friend was selling them at, like, $2 a piece at one time because he was getting rid of his collection. So it's like, oh, I guess I'll buy some of those, and I find some. And I, my biggest suggestion would be flea markets and yard sales, if you have any of those near you. I know it's a bit tough because the world's on fire right now, so you can't really go to flea markets and yard sales. But that's where I got most of mine. That's what I'd recommend because online they are pretty dang expensive. I couldn't join earlier because I should go outside. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's... <laughs> hey, man, go outside, dude. Sometimes, this week, like, it's been so nice. I've just been outside. Like, I would just walk outside with no purpose, and I would just walk around listening to whatever. Because it's just fun to go be outside sometimes. So. I won't credit you that. Being outside's cool, dude. Oh, God. Chats are piling up here. Oh, my God. Uh, how do you like the Mer new Mercy skin? Uh... Hot take here. New Mercy skin. One of my favorite games in the whole... One of my favorite skins in the whole game. If not my favorite skin in the whole game. I absolutely love it. It's only behind Dragon, Symmetra, and Scorpion, Widowmaker. You might, if you might see a prop... You might see a pattern here. Skin. Some people... Some people don't like the cartoony things. They're like, eh, it's... It's, you know, they like... I'm gonna represent their argument validly. They like more realistic skins that fit into the universe. 
I do not. Throw whatever cartoony, wacky thing out there. I love it. I think Dragoon Mercy is great. What's else coming here? Really get some pieces off of Bricklink? Yeah, I mean, I haven't done that in so long, mostly because... Mostly because I didn't have a job for three months. Because of the whole... Barona virus going on. <laughs> but... I gotta make a Bricklink purchase. I'm gonna try to... I'm trying to make a Republic Y-Wing. If you remember last stream, I was trying to make a Republic Y-Wing. That's just a reskin of the old one. I'm gonna try to make, like, a new model. Based off of the the Rebel Y-Wing that my friend... My friend made this, like, cool alternation to turn into a Rebel Y-Wing. And I was like, yeah. I'm gonna do that. But I need first a Rebel Y-Wing. I mean, turn it to a, into a Republic Y-Wing, my bad. But first, I need a Rebel Y-Wing to do so. Which is funny, my sister has that set and I don't. She's not into Lego at all. Hey, I found another one. Uh, here we are. Here's another one. Getting, getting some pieces together. Try to build a nice landscape here. There we are. I'm playing drum in an orchestra, so I had to... Good, dude, good on you, man. I've always wanted to try to learn an instrument. The most I... The most uh, instrument experience I had was playing piano in the middle school, which I choose to forget because middle school was horrible. And if anybody are, is in middle school, I hope yours was better than mine. But I choose to forget most of it, but I just played piano and basically the entire class. Just imagine... Just imagine somebody, like, banging on the keyboard, right? Just, like, banging all these random keys, like, bonk, bonk, ching, chonk. And then, imagine 30 children going bonk, bonk, ching, chonk on keyboards. That was the entire class for three years. <laughs> I would not want to go back to that anytime soon. Good on you for playing drum in an orchestra, too. That's cool. I always admire orchestras. I always found them pretty nice. Pretty cool. Alright, trying to make this landscape, huh? Let's see. Hmm, should I make... Should I make a little... Nah. Let's start... Maybe... Let's start here. 12 from. Let's start 12. That's a good, good starting point, right? Let the games begin. Okay, what are we going to do here? I'm not used to making uh, cliffs, so my apologies if this first draft looks a little rough. I'm going to make this one gun go down a little bit and then make a little bump, maybe. Why is this not going on? That's weird. A sharp bump going from here. Actually, I have a better idea. Use this to go down, to make it a little more smooth. Uh oh, brick separator time, baby. Ba Boom. Up like that. And then, hmm. Yeah, I do like that bump there. I'll do that. Unless, unless, like this. That could work. I actually like that. I like that quite a bit. And then just do this. I kind of dig that. As a rock landscape, I kind of dig that a lot. Kind of dig that a lot. Actually, I'm going to replace this. Hang on. That's a little too jaded for me. I'm going to replace it with just simply just this. Just to have a cliff side. I think. <sighs> Which one looks better? Does it look better like this? Or does it look better like that? Alright, chat, you decide. Cliff side right here. Does it look better with this cut off, with it being flat? Or just a more jaded ed edge filling it out like that. I think that kind of looks better, but you guys decide while I read some chat. Oh boy. What should thing should I build? I'm going to guess 
that means what should you build? Oh shoot, my phone. I gotta plug my phone in. I have my phone plugged into like a life saving device over here. Five people, we bouncing. To prevent my stream from dying because my phone is very old and also <laughs> is not that great. Star Wars, what thing should you build? Hmm. It depends on what era you like. What do you like on Star Wars? Because Star Wars itself is like an, an entire genre. So, <laughs> it really depends. Could you make a small X-Wing tutorial? That's not a bad idea. I would do that. I actually would like to do that. A mini X-Wing? Yeah, I'll do that. I'm, I'm down. Let me let me write it down on my idea board. One second. Uh, just use a sticky note because my idea board doesn't have any markers for ideas. Yeah, yeah, my pen's purple. Don't judge me. Small X wing. And no, I don't normally scribble like a five-year-old. That's just to save time. That's on the idea board. And now it fell off the idea board, but you get the idea. <laughs> get it? Alright, back. You make small actually tutorial. That looks very good. Looks very clean. Like the angle? Alright. Good. I'll keep the angle. I don't know about that, do I? It's fine. I don't want to let the perfectionist get to get the perfectious perfectionist side of me get the best of me. It's fine. Get on the freaking thing. Apologies for like the grandma hands. It's it's like a million degrees in this room because <laughs> I don't have an air conditioner. Oh, that could go right there. Hang on. And also I don't want to turn on my fan because you'll hear <laughs> so. Might be the job for two brick separators. Might be the job for Three brick separators. Yep, three gets the job done. Pro tip more brick separators, more prying power. So, here, like a giant tip, giant base plate, just stick like 20 of these bad boys on there, and you'll be good. Shoot, my computer die. Nah, eh, just sleeping. Like I should be. But whatever. <laughs> Uh, man. So, you guys watching any uh, any TV shows recently? I'm curious about the TV thing, because I watched a lot of TV during quarantine. Not not cable TV, for I am not elderly, but I did watch a decent amount of Netflix TV shows, and re-watched some. And I think they are some pretty great TV shows, but I want to hear your guys' opinions on what you're watching right now. Probably put these away. I didn't know to use multiple brick separators. Neither did I. I one day there's like a hard piece to pry off, and I was like, "What if I used two brick separators?" And it didn't work, so I was like, "What if I used?" That's how I speak. What if I used uh, three? And then it worked. So that's what you do. Uh, can I send you my robots to you from Instagram DM? Sure, I have an Instagram. Uh. I don't know. I don't know if you know what it is. Just Bastion of Bricks. Uh, I haven't been on it in a while. I've been looking to like reactivate it and reuse it. So, yeah. If you send it to me, I'd be more than happy to take a look at your robots. Oh shoot! Do I need a bag? I don't have. No, I have that bag somewhere. I need. I need all the one wide. The one wide things. The one wide thing. Where you at? I'm watching the new CW Flash season. Good, mm, good on you. <laughs> I personally can't watch. I can't watch uh, CW Flash. I just, I can't watch CW shows. Uh, I used to be a big fan of the first two seasons of Flash, and I also watched Legends of Tomorrow, but I just kind of, I wouldn't say grow grow out of it because that sounds like oh. Only people who are who are immature can like it. No, I just it didn't it didn't. I just my personality grew out of it. I didn't really enjoy it. But hey, good on you, man. If you like what you like, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, let's go watch Impractical Jokers. I've never. My friend's a big fan of Impractical Jokers. He's like, uh, this guy falls down in Practical Jokers. 
I was like, I don't know what that really is. I think it's, I know it's a, like one of those extreme prank shows where they do all these challenges. Could be fun to watch. I've never watched it. But, good on you. Good on you, man. Clone Wars. Also finished watching Clone Wars. Um, yeah, that kind of... <laughs> do you enjoy having having your heart ripped out and then it like still beating on the screen? Because that's... That's what that... That's, that's what the new Clone Wars season was. Or at least Siege of Mandalore. Because good God, that was really good. But also really sad. At the same time. Which, the new Clone Wars season was honestly like one of the best... Some of the best Star Wars I've ever seen. If not the best Star Wars I've ever seen. Uh, it's kind of amazing. And, like, having that as the last... As the last remnant of George Lucas. Like, that that last season was the last remnant of George Lucas's, like, effect on Star Wars. was also really cool. It's like, wow, this is the last thing that he ever, like... Really was involved with. So that was cool to see, but... Glad to see you're enjoying Clone Wars. Because who wouldn't? Uh, except for my father. Oh, sorry, I was reading chat. My dad, he likes Star Wars Rebels more than Clone Wars, okay? And this is the my the reason for that is that my dad, in all compasses of the words, not the meme, not the dead meme, a boomer. He is original trilogy all the way in Star Wars. He doesn't like anything that's not the original trilogy. He likes some of the sequel stuff, but the prequels he just hates it. Will never give anything a chance. So he's a Star Wars boomer. You know those types, right? When you were Star Wars fans? I'm assuming some of you are. You're all nerds, right? You're here. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. I need a square thing. Not two by two, they're just called square things. Hope Disney can make the new Mandalorian season. Fortunately, it was already filmed before the world went boom. So, we're going to still get that in November. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I like all the memes of all the characters that are coming in. Like, all all the rumors that are coming out of, like, all, all these new characters are coming in. You have Ezra and, and Greedo and Anakin Skywalker's back with all of his missing limbs. And you have Ahsoka and Ezra and Thrawn. I don't know how much, how true any of that is, but sounds interesting. Oh, I shouldn't have put the, <laughs> shouldn't have put the, the angled pieces away. I still have to, still have to make the island. <sighs> oh, man. That's whatever. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. Going back to hunting. Hunting the pieces. Hey, I'm doing good at not making a mess, okay? Last project was a dismal failure and took me two hours to clean up, okay? I'm not making that mistake again. Yeah, I think they are. Let's go. Baby Yoda. You sent the photos? Good. I, I gotta log in the... I gotta log in Instagram again. I, <laughs> I haven't logged in Instagram in like six months. I use I use my regular one, right? I use my regular one to like... To keep up with my friends. And now to unfollow my friends because they have been... Uh, driven politically to one extreme or the other. And I just don't like seeing a ton of negative things in my feed. It's like, oh man... It's 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 a shame that you've been totally corrupted <laughs> by a certain viewpoint to the point where you can't understand somebody else's viewpoint. But hey, just how it is. But hey, we're not here for politics, all right? That's the worst. Send you the photos. That's looking sick, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, what's going on, Dubek? How's it going? How's it hanging? I'm over here building a thing. And, uh... What happened is <laughs> I had all these uh, angled pieces out for the cliff, and then I was like, oh, I'm done. I put them all back in this giant bag, and I realized I have to still build an island using those pieces, so i got to pull them all out again. That's what's going on. That's what's happening. Yeah. There's one. <laughs> we got to start. I'm going to try to use some more of the angled ones. The ones that look like uh, like this, but an angle, to try to make more like a sharper, sharper edge over yonder. It'll be something like this, but a little bit more regular, just like over there. Like that already looks good, but once it's a regular shape, it's gonna look even better. 
So I'll keep that there. Oh no! <laughs> Camera almost fell to its death. Bit of a thumb reveal there. Right there. And anybody, nobody, who's asking, when are you gonna do a face reveal? Um, I just don't show my face because th my content doesn't need it right now. Trust me, I have something planned. I have some a new type of content that's gonna be really fun. It's gonna involve my face. Unfortunately for you guys, you're gonna have to see my face. All right, not the best face in the world, but it's a face, and that's gonna be really fun. Hey, found one. Yeah, here we are. Look at that. We should have to wait five hour drive just to get some pieces. Ugh. Five hours. <laughs> That's intense. That's an intense wait, my guy. Five hours for pieces. I just have to drive five minutes to my store, to my unofficial Lego store, and then I have to drive 20 minutes to my official Lego store. So I feel bad for you. Do you know that? Did you guys know what uh, the pick a brick's happening? What's happening with Pick a Brick in the new, in the new, in the new Lego store? You know, post Barona virus, is that apparently it was posted in my lug in my lug Discord. Uh, oh, that sounds official. My lug Discord. Anyway, that what they're going to do now is you can order pieces online, and then do like a drive-through pickup at the Lego store. So basically, you, you'll order the parts from Pick a Brick, and then they'll put them into a cup. And then you and you go into the store and get them. So they can't do like official pick a brick yet, but that's actually like a great opening system. Because what if they keep that system, right, of just ordering the pieces, but you don't order them, but they still take note of what's there. So that way, for every single store, they keep the inventory. So you'll always get to look up uh, what is in the pick a brick store. That sounds really nice. Now that I'm thinking about that, I really like that idea. Because you'll always, because like, you know, luckily for me, in, in the Discord, we have people who go there to the store regularly between like, what, there's 30 people in there or something? And they always take pictures of all the new stuff. But there's never really, and there's websites that have like outdated pick a brick lists, but, oh, incoming. <coughs> yep, welcome to new people, now they want to leave. <laughs> but... Inhumane Delch is out of the way. We always have people, and there's like official uh, websites, right? Unofficial websites that kind of keep track of the inventory, but not really. It's really outdated. I think having a system where you could always look online and see what's at your local pick a brick, or like what's at the different stores pick a brick, would be really, really cool. So I hope they do that in the future, but enough rambling about pick a brick, huh? Yikes, big bird. Oh, you haven't even seen me at my full power. That's like 10% of my full power, man. Six people. Good God. We have six people in here. We're talking about belches. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. So, yeah, I'm starting to warm up now. At the beginning of the live streams, I'm always like, yep, yeah, this is a Lego piece. But now we're warmed up. We're kicking back. We're burping. <laughs> we're building. Burp and build, baby. That's what we're here for. Any movies you guys have been listening to? Or, <laughs> any movies you guys have been listening to? Any movies you guys have been watching? Any any new fl any new flicks? I know you guys aren't going to the movie theaters because of uh, we'll say reasons, but any new movies you guys found or anything that you found cool during this whole uh, ordeal? Ooh, that could be interesting, but probably not. I think it's too big. Oh, here's another piece. Nice. There's one for the scoreboard. I watched The Rise of Skywalker. Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy it? I'm I'm not one of those people to pounce on you either way, so... Feel free to tell me if you like uh, The Rise of Skywalker. Because I think it's be interesting to hear your opinion on that. But I haven't been watching... I Last time I watched a movie, as I said in the beginning, was... Uh, in January. So I haven't watched that many movies. I watch a lot of TV, not a lot of movies. I've rewatched Home Alone, really? That's interesting. I always I do always think it'd be interesting to watch to watch uh what is it? 
Christmas movies outside of Christmas. Please look at your photos. I can do that. Let's go. Let's go pop on over to Instagram if it works. Yeah. yeah. Do. Oh shoot. Yeah, sorry guys, I forgot. Sorry, dude. Uh Ard Ard Arda. I don't know how I pronounce your name, I apologize. I don't have messages on the laptop one. I'm using my phone to record so I can't go on it, but I will look at them as soon as I end the stream and I will respond to you. I'm sure the robots are fantastic. It was okay. Well, that is a very, very reasonable opinion. I respect it. I personally don't like the Rise of Skywalker just because of what it it did for for the franchise, right? Like um, like the whole idea of like oh Palpatine's back. It kind of makes like the original trilogy and to the extent the prequels kind of everything that those were building up to to the defeat of Palpatine not really matter anymore. And also the fact that Palpatine technically won because all the Skywalkers are dead, and they're the only person left is a Palpatine, even though they took the name of the Skywalker. I didn't personally enjoy, but I thought some of the action was alright. I thought it was a bit too fast, but by far it wasn't, I don't know. I haven't watched it since I watched it in theaters in December. I wasn't a big old fan, but to each their own. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, found another piece. Come on. Here you are. Bam. Making Lego robots, maybe you could do some of them. Maybe I could. You were the one that was making the war. That suggested I made the war robots. One from that from a mobile game. I played war robots like three years ago. It's pretty right. Is this the one that recently came out? Before yeah, Rise of Skywalker. One who recently came out. If you're talking about the Rise of Skywalker, yeah, the Rise of Skywalker is the is the most recent Star Wars movie. And also the last Star Wars movie for a very long time, because I think the sequel trilogy left a bit of a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths, even if you're not one of those people. Uh, I think it, I think it, you can't probably deny that that didn't happen. Alright, here we are. We're going to try to make a little bit of an island here without it making, look te making it look terrible. So, let's try that out. Uh, I'm going to try to put like this in between make a little slope right there maybe maybe that'll work uh, how do I make this not look bad hmm very interesting sorry if I ignore chat for a second I'm in thinking mode hmm this, may okay, maybe I could do like that. Bring that down. Nah, it looks too, it's too symmetrical. But what if I did this? Sorry again, I'm, in, I'm ignoring chat. I'm in my think tank mode here. That looks fine. Although it would look better if one of these was maybe here, just to give it some more asymmetry. One of those is over there. But I think that looks alright. Now I just have to figure out what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do here. I need more more pieces. I need more of those. I'm just gonna find more pieces while I'm thinking. I'm gonna look at you can chat, see what's up. What are you building? Hey John, what's going on? John Wilson. One of my frequent one of my live stream frequenters. How's it going? I'm pretty sure I messed up the order of those words. Whatever. What am I building? Right now, basically the game plan is we're going to build this water island. It's going to be a cliff that comes up and over like this, and the island's going to be a support beam to make sure that the layer on top doesn't f crumble beneath its own weight, hopefully. And then we're going to build stuff on top. It's going to basically be... Uh, gonna be like a desolate wasteland up top. I'm gonna make all like lava falls or whatever. And then the bottom is gonna be like all this luscious paradise. Hopefully that's the plan. But right now I'm trying to build this island right here. I'm trying to make it look good. Because you can't have it make you can't make it look uh it's it's bizarre. Alright. Because 
with cliffscapes, you can't make it look symmetrical because it doesn't look organic. But you can't make it look too unsymmetrical or else it just doesn't look right. Like you couldn't have boop, 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 boop. Just like curves like that. So it's a bit interesting. You just kind of have to eyeball it and just get a feeling for it. But this is my second time doing it. I think it's going out pretty alright, so I'm not complaining. Alright, what if I did something like this? I think that would look fine. I don't know. I think it looks alright. Like if I just made that solid. I don't know, chat, what do you think? I think that would look fine. I think it looks fine. I think it would look pretty dang nifty. I know the chat's like delayed a while, so. Do you like PewDiePie? I. To be honest, I don't really watch him. I watched his Subnautica series, I thought that was really cool, because I used to play Subnautica. It got me back into the game, but Subnautica has... The game has a bit too much grinding for me, personally, towards the end. I love the beginning of the game, because you can just progress through it, but when it gets to, like, grinding, oh, I have to go to this one biome and search for a million years to find this... this thing. Yeah, it's, it is not because I'm scared of the game, because I am, but that's not... <laughs> But that's not the reason. It's just that I don't really like the grind. I am more of the I must shoot I must shoot the bad guys type of game. You know? I prefer a little more it's not that I prefer action, I'm impatient, it's just I don't prefer grinding endlessly. I will go for a mobile game for that. I would play war robots. Do you play Valorant? I do not, not play Valorant. I do not play Valorant. It doesn't look that good to me, just because for me, I like Overwatch's how everything's out there and how it's all futuristic. I don't personally play like the CS:GO, not not GI Joe, the C the CS:GO uh like Call of Duty games. I've never played Call of Duty. I like the more just far out there fantasy like shooters so to me valorant it seems like overwatch and csgo combined mixed with like counter strike maybe it just didn't really interest me that much but i'm sure it's a fine game I'm sure that's the case i think that island's good nah it no redesign uh i am too good This sucks. <laughs> Let's try to fix it. I don't know if I did like that. Yeah, but see, that looks too much like that, I think. Hmm. It doesn't look too bad, though. It doesn't look too shabby. Especially if we did like... If we did like that. Hmm. Interesting. Seven people. We're bopping. How's everybody doing? We're bopping over here. All right, so while I figure out how to put the correct uh, arrangement of gray plastic pieces uh, together, I'm going to ask you guys some questions. What are your favorite movies? I've been, I've been uh, interested. What are your favorite movies? Mine are particularly out there, but what are your favorite movies? I am really curious to see. I personally... I am of the opinion that if a movie has a fantastic universe, I don't care about anything else. I don't care about, you know, the script or the pacing or anything. If it has a great universe, I'm on board. The Prestige. What is that? Let me look that up quick on my handy dandy computer. The Prestige. The Prestige. A thriller mystery. That sounds interesting. Looks really good too. Eight point five on IMDb. Even though I don't trust, I don't trust the rating systems at all. So that's of no concern to me. I might have to look that one up. Um, if it's on like a streaming service, I could watch it. But uh, oh, Amazon Prime. Yeah, I got Amazon Prime. Let's check that out. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. Ah, uh, yes. One of my one of my favorite movies too. I'm not doubting you at all. I mean, blaming you or whatever. Revenge of the Sith, it's up there, man. It's a good thing. 
my personal favorite movies, me personally, right, is, get ready for this, The Transformers the Movie from 1986, Atlantis the Lost Empire from Disney, and Tron Legacy. Which is why I said that I like universes more than scripts. Tron Legacy is at its best when the main character isn't talking and making quips from 10 years ago. But all those movies, I thoroughly enjoy. Flaws and all. Favorite movies of all time. But feel free to give me yours. Home Alone. I, to be honest, I think I've watched Home Alone once. I think it's one of my least watched Christmas movies. I'll have to give it a rewatch, but I remember it being good. I remember it being not not too shabby. Uh, Home Alone. Iron Man 1. Fantastic. That's a fantastic movie. Iron Man 1 is fantastic. And uh, good on you for liking it. Because I still... It's one of my favorite Marvel movies. Out of all, like, 20 billion. I still like that one quite a lot. The B movie. <laughs> Joking about the B movie. <laughs> Ah, uh, sh- it means I shouldn't have re- read it, right? Ah, uh, well, the movie. Oh yeah, that's pretty great up there. What what do people like? What is it? What what are the what are the like snobby film nerds like? Uh, Citizens Kane, get out of here. Nah, B movie. B movie superior. Citizens Kane inferior. We watched Tron Legacy and I loved it. I I seriously think that the movie is slept on. Tron Legacy is a pretty good movie in my eyes. I really do enjoy that film quite a bit. Hmm. Now it's time to get into how am I going to solve this here? How about this? What about this? Huh? This better? This look better? No, oh, back to chat. I think that was better. I might do that. Shrek. Shrek's good. I haven't seen Shrek in, um, Probably in 10 years-ish. It's been quite a while since I watched Shrek. I see. I saw Shrek 2 in 8th grade. Remember that. But it's been a while. I watched Shrek 4D when I was at Universal, but that's about it. That's not a movie anyway. I like Guardians of the Galaxy. Good on you. I, I enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy a lot. I think it's a pretty dang solid movie. I like both of them. I think the soundtrack to both are pretty great. I own both the soundtracks. And I think both are pretty great. I resonate personally probably with Guardians of the Galaxy 1 a little bit more. But that's, again, resonating with a movie which is like pew, 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 boom. 95% of the time, so. Who am I to say? I think this looks better. I might go with this. That looks a bit weird. I might change this corner up a little bit. It looks fine. I'm I'm literally feeling heat off of my phone because it has like two gigabytes of RAM and it's exploding because it's an eighty dollar phone. <laughs> What's going on in chat? Shrek, I agree. That looks cool. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying I'm trying to figure out this island here. It's giving me a bit of a headache. This worked fine. This kind of came together a lot, but or came together very well. But I'm kinda having trouble with this one. I don't know what I should do. I might get one of these these longer pieces. Let's see if I can find one of those. Well, looking at that, I'll look at chat. See what's see what's blitzing on this way. I like the first one more. All right, hang on one second. I love the watermark on the side, man. Hmm. Oh, the watermark on the side. Hey, man. I before did not stream enough to warrant. I don't stream enough to warrant uh, removing the stream lapse watermark. So sorry about the watermark. I'm gonna try to get rid. I'm gonna see how much it costs to get rid of it. Maybe I'll fork over the extra bucks, but we'll see. Seems that these are pretty popular. A lot of people stopping by, so maybe I'll continue streaming. I have to go, man. Sorry, no biggie. I'll look at your robots as soon as I'll stream, and I'm sure they're I'm sure they're pretty great. All right. I should take photos of these when I do them. So I should keep, so I could keep track of like how each one looks. <laughs> it was like, it was like, no, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Every time you do it, it gets worse. Honestly, I'm feeling that right now. I think every time I redo this thing, it's a little worse. But yeah, it's cool. It's fine. 
Oh, you can't see it, but my hands are in my head. Or, <laughs> hands are on my head. Not in my head, that'd be a problem. Because I just can't figure out how to do this. I'm a bit perplexed, to say the least. As to how I make a stupid, stupid planet. Not planet, island. Whatever it is. Uh... It's okay. Yes, it is very okay. Not everybody can sit around while we while I put together some some gray plastic and abstract confusion. So <laughs> that's that. I hmm. Too many of these. Oh no. Uh oh. All right. Let's just put everything back where it was. <laughs> All right. There we go. We're back. We're back to full power. Trouble with Lego. A bastion of brick story. Here we are. You don't put that there. No, I'll think of something, whatever. <laughs> this island is killing me. I want to finish the island. I will stop streaming. I think it looks for me the way it is. Looks good for you, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Once I finish this island, I'm gonna stop the stream. I think I'm going to do this this mock, right? I'm going to stream it in, like, hour chunks. So I'm going to stream the entire mock. I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm just trying to figure out this island. Who knows? I could be streaming for another hour until I figure out how this stupid island works. I like streaming. I like it a lot. It's very fun. Very fun interacting with people. I've been missing the LEGO community for quite some time. That's the way the cookie crumbles, huh? I don't know. Episode of Boss Mythers. I think it looks coming in theaters near you. Yep. See, well, but maybe not because you know, coronavirus. But <laughs> who knows? Who knows when theaters are reopen? I think theaters are reopening near me, and they're only showing classics, which is cool. Because honestly, I, I'd watch classics in a movie theater, like Back to the Future, Back to the Food Chair, and whatever. So it's like, like back to the futon and all those, all those shows, all those shows. Like I'll watch that. Back to the futon all the way. Trying to find the pieces to build an island that I can't build. This is what I'm working with. This is what I'm working with. This giant bag of of randomly colored stuff. Should I sort it by color? Short it. Should I sort it by color? Probably. Do I have a bag of these already made up? Maybe. I haven't looked. Who knows? My Lego collection's kind of a mess. What's that in the bottom? Garbage. That's what that is. Don't need it. Whoa. I see a good piece, boys. I haven't seen Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3 on Netflix. Uh, yeah. I've I've heard of that. I know people are angry when they edited a scene out, which seems kind of dumb to me that they, ed they, would, they would edit a scene, but whatever. Um... I haven't heard much about it other than that though. I I have Netflix. I should I should take a look. I found this. Look at this. I found this. Look at that. I found a I found a piece that could could prove vital in this island catastrophe we have right now. Will it be useful? Maybe not. But who knows? What if uh, I just brain blasted it that way. Hang on. Let me find some one by whatevers. One second. I rummage around Lego ASMR style and find my footing here. Alright, there's one. Look at that. I'm gonna put, put that there. Like that. Put this there, and see how it looks. Uh, that may be fine. It looks a bit weird now because it's not filled in, but I think that might do it. I think that could be my island. I'm thinking. I like that little nudge right there. I like how it has that slope there and there. That may be my island. Yeah, I think I might do that. What do you guys think? 
before I, boom, be the Judge Judy and Executioner. Shout out to anybody who gets that reference. Please no ASMR, I hate it. Trust me. I do not get ASMR at all. I'm sorry. I, I get, like, birds. You know, birds singing. That could be peaceful. I get rain. Rain's cool. Uh, <laughs> rain's cool. Bastion of Bricks 2020. I like calming music. I dig harps. But people chewing into a microphone? No. Okay? People going... With Lego Bricks into a microphone? Don't know. Don't get that either. But to each, to each their own, you know? I'm not gonna... <laughs> I guess I am kind of, but I'm not gonna, you know, thrash anybody's listening experience, I guess. If it relaxes you, then I guess, but to me, somebody somebody going into a microphone is not relaxing. It's just get get out of my ear. But to each their own. Uh yeah, it's a little weird. Why I love it. <laughs> hey. Um I I mean I am knocking it. But that was just more for for a bit of a comedic bit there. I don't I don't mind it though. Again, my personal philosophy: someone's doing something that I don't get, but it doesn't affect me. I don't care. I think people get far too worked up over other people doing things that doesn't concern them at all. Like, if you want to do something that's not hurting anybody else, and I don't have to see it or do it, then, like, whatever. And, of course, ASMR is not like that. Like, I don't care. I'm thinking more like, you know, the the F word, furries. I'm thinking about stuff like that. My personal philosophy doesn't concern me. Not hurting anybody. Don't care. You know? That's just how it is. I love Lego stuff. I agree. That's why I have this YouTube channel and all these awesome people they here to see my stuff. So, that's that. Oh, and that's the final piece, I believe. Looks, looks alright. The island looks alright. You can't really see it there, but... Like that, it looks better. Yeah. That looks fine to me. And I'm gonna pu push this down while I answer my last questions. You guys have any final, final thoughts, final questions while I... Start to clean up and end this over here. I'll happy to answer. Top five favorite YouTubers. All right, I'm gonna name five. Doesn't mean that these are my top five because I always freaking forget. I always forget people and then I'm like, oh man. But don't mind me. I like I like M and R vlogs. That's a fun channel. I like seeing. I just like seeing people into the eyes of like a different Lego guy. You know. Like, vlogs, I don't really get, you know? But something about Lego vlogs, and just seeing, like, a Lego... Like, one of the most involved people in Lego doing their thing every week is kind of interesting. I enjoy that. Uh, I enjoy some Overwatch channels. Uh, just that you probably don't know, like, Six and SI Not Found. I, I enjoy those quite a bit. Um, Great Andre, I watch him a lot. But I wouldn't recommend a great under A if you're a particular child. Um, let's see. Who else do I watch? What is that? Like, six. I saw not found. MNR. Great under A. Who else do I watch? Chris Raygun. I love Chris Raygun. Um, that's a good one. I watch. I watch a lot of people. I watch some political guys, but not that much anymore. I just watch people more for their personalities. That's kind of, kind of where I'm at. On that, to be honest, I've subscribed to a lot of people. Like I watch a lot of people, but I wouldn't say like I watch them a lot. You know, just kind of how it is. And if I didn't mention somebody, and they're like, "What about this guy?" I probably, probably watch them. I might. I just probably forget. The island looking spicy. Thanks, man. I'm hoping it will on this on this whole excursion over here. Do you like bro? You whack. That name sounds familiar. That name sounds familiar, but I don't remember what it is. I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't remember. I don't remember who Bro You Whack is. Is that is that the guy? Let me let me look it up. Let me educate myself real quick, huh? YouTube. Oh, I have a computer right here. I could just look up who I watched. 
Do do do, bro, you whack. Oh, an Overwatch channel. I see. Oh yeah, I was watching this. I was watching this guy um, before anniversary came out because he had like all these things about the skin stuff. I watch. I watch some videos. Yeah, I don't watch. I don't watch a lot, but I watch like the advanced skin ideas video, and you know, I do. I watch some of that stuff. I don't watch him regularly, but like I'm not subscribed or anything. But I see him on my feed all the time. I'm like, yeah, I'll watch that. That's kind of like that. Uh, I love him and our uh, videos. Our vlogs, yeah, they're really good. Is Grade A back? Yes, he is back. So, believe it or not, Grade A under A has returned. It further proof that 2020 is just 2016, bigger and badder, and the sequel. Um, yeah, Grade A under A is back. It's pretty crazy, dude. Like, what is happening? I think every four years, we're just going to relapse. It's just going to become a more extreme version. Like my personal opinion is, and I and I had this before 2020 even happened. All right, 2017, 2018, and 2019 were recovery periods from 2016 because so much happened in 2016. 2020 happens, it's going to be a big year, and I think 2021, 2022, 2023, not a whole lot's going to happen. 2024, it's going to be big again. That's my personal theory that will never be actually true because years don't work like that. But that's what I think anyway. Yep, grade A is back. You can uh let's see, let me look them up quick. Grade A under A. Yeah, he's done a video on the Keemstar whole shenanigans and antidepressants. The antidepressant one was hilarious. And so I I don't remember the Keemstar one that much because I watched it like at two thirty a.m. But that's good too. I like that he's back. I like that he's you know mentally well again, and he's one of my favorite YouTubers. So I like that he's back. All right, before I close this off, let me look at some. Uh, do you play Fortnite? No, I. I'm not one of those people who like really hates on it either. Uh, it just wasn't me. I played it with one of my friends like a year ago, and then I'm a cosmetic guy. I'm a visual guy. So when I realized that you couldn't, like, get anything really without spending money, I was like, eh, no. I'd much rather pay for Fortnite and be able to earn all the stuff legitimately. I don't like, I don't hate Battle Passes, because Magic the Gathering has a Battle Pass, and I love that system. It's like, oh, I can always come back and try to earn more stuff, so I dig Battle Pass. I'm just not a big fan of Fortnite. I'm not a big fan of Battle Royale either, to be honest. I know why it attracts people, because mainly, you know, it's free. And other things, but I'm just a big fan. I play a tiny bit, not that much. Yeah, my friend was playing the other day, and we, we were making fun of him. He's like, I just got my first win in Fortnite, bros. I was like, dude. <laughs> but we were busting his chops a little bit. Let's look at my subscriptions real quick. Yeah, Snark Tank. Uh, I don't recommend Snark Tank if you're if you're not, you know, of, of a particular maturity, but... Or maybe the opposite, if you're not mature enough, or you're too mature, you don't enjoy it, but... They're really funny guys, the Snark Tank. It's Chris Reagan and a few other people. Some of the funniest things I've ever seen. Um, I watch, like, Lego People, Bounty Hunter Bricks, Bricks in Lithuania, Lego Legend, let's see... Iceberg Bricks, I haven't watched a lot of his stuff in a while. I'm just going to throw my stuff here. TG Bricks, shout out to you, my brother. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I have a lot more down here. I'm just not going through my, like, 140 million, million, uh, subscriptions here. Mindbender, I watch him. The rollout, some, some Transformers guys, I watch them. But I watch a lot of people. Brickwiz, I'm subscribed to. I don't really watch a lot of Brickwiz, but it's not a conscious choice. I just don't really get around to it. Oh my god, I just... Ice for Brick was on Lego Master. Uh, he can build like crazy. Dude, I will say something about Fortnite, okay? The people who can go and go in Fortnite and be like... And get shot once and be like... And build like a fortress in five seconds, that's pretty impressive. Like, I do respect the Fortnite, like people who can build in Fortnite really fast, because that takes a lot of mechanical skill, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> People who could build like crazy, I'm like, dude, how do you even do that? 
but it's kind of like that. Lego Iceberg Bricks on Lego Masters. Yes, he was. I haven't watched Lego Masters yet. I know Iceberg Bricks didn't win. I've been trying to stay away from spoilers as much as possible, but I know Iceberg Bricks got out because I subscribed to him. And I know that there was some drama that was, you know, like some false things went around, went from behind the scenes that they tried to ham up in production with him. So I know that, but I've been kind of staying away. I've been meaning to watch Lego Masters, haven't really gotten around to it. <laughs> God, I just, I just got a video in my, in my feed. Magic the Gathering is racist by a guy that I watch. And I, I'm, I don't watch any of those, like, you know, those brand of YouTubers. Which, you know, just clown on a, on a particular political spectrum. But I watch this guy because I... He's a pretty level-headed dude. And I'm going to watch that video right after I finish streaming because I play Magic a lot. I play a lot of Magic the Gathering right now. Online, not physical. I can never do physical. But I'll watch that after I look at after I look at that uh, Arda's Lego robots. After I do that, I'm going to watch a video about how Magic the Gathering is a racist. Are you, are you excited for the new Transformers Netflix show? Not at all. Not at all. I'm sorry. I don't like. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the voice acting. I. I don't. I don't enjoy it a lot. I'm sorry. I like Transformers a lot. Uh, I loved Transformers the original movie. I love Transformers Prime. I thought the best parts of Robots in Disguise were the parts that reference Transformers Prime. I didn't like Robots in Disguise too much, but I didn't think it was bad either. I was just kind of okay about. I was just kind of like okay on it. But that's that's that. But the, I don't know. The trailer didn't just kind of rub me the wrong way, but not in like a bad way. Just like eh, not for me. It's some more of that like machinima animation, I think, and it looks fine. Like it looks visually fine, but I'm just not a big. I'm just not really big into that. You know, I know people are. I think, but I'm not. That's all I want to say about that. Oh, okay, I think I think we, we about did it. We covered a decent amount of ground. This is a great chunk. Great chunk of work. Probably going to continue tomorrow. Yeah, I'll continue tomorrow before I go to work and have a lot of fun. No, not have a lot of fun. So, that's going to happen there. I think this about concludes it. I'm just going to pack up this stuff. I'm probably going to end the stream. I'm going to keep talking for, for the while, but a little bit while I pick up all my gun junk but look at this look at no mess look at this there's no mess over here I tried my best to not make a giant mess so I didn't have to clean it up and look at that proud of me for doing the basic human responsibility of not making a giant mess because I am are you a fan of any of the Tom Clancy games or books my friend tried to get me to play Rainbow Six Siege, which I'm glad I didn't because I never spoke to them really again after high school. Those are some some of my friends, but I don't know. I just had like one group of people that wanted me to play it. I didn't I didn't play. I never bought Rainbow Six Siege. I know it goes on for really cheap sometimes, but they're like, oh, you should get the more expensive one that comes with the champions if you're not gonna pl not champions, whatever, not paladins, whatever. They're like, oh, you should get the more expensive one because it comes with more guys. You don't have to play to unlock them. And it's like, so, so I'm going to spend more money for a game that I'm going to play less just to play the characters that I would want to play? Nah, I'm just, I never got on board of it. Books? I haven't read any of the books. I know my, my grandmother loved the Tom Clancy books, which is, which is kind of funny, I guess. But I know my aunt watched, reads them a little bit. I'm, I'm not... Dang it. I'm not really big into them, to be honest. But then again, I haven't really experienced them yet. I used to be a big book guy. Not anymore, really. Because I found video games. I love Rainbow. Good. I, I'm, it's probably a fantastic game. I wish I didn't do it. My games are... I play Overwatch on console, and I play Magic the Gathering on PC. That's really what I do. As of right now. I don't play it. I don't have a lot of variation. I'm still trying to get two Overwatch achievements. I have two more Overwatch achievements in the whole game. 
but I'm kind of taking a break from Overwatch. I didn't, even, I didn't even play Double XP Weekend that much. I just got my weekly wins. Weekly wins, and because I'm just kind of burnt out. But yeah, that's that's kind of it. I can make it to the stream tomorrow. Cool, dude. I'll see you tomorrow. I, that's assuming that I do stream, which I probably will, because I kind of want to finish this a lot. Or I kind of want to continue it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the cliff. Tomorrow's probably gonna be the secondary cliff. And then making uh, the island piece a little bit. And then it's probably going to be adding maybe some cliffside, maybe here and here. And I don't know. I'm going to think about it. And I'm going to come back. Are you a fan of any animation channels like The Odds One Out? I'm a fan of Jaden Animations. Uh, I'm going to be honest. This I'm going to be honest here. This is, uh, this is biased. It's, it comes out of like no place rational. I hate animation channels. I don't like them at all. I, I don't know why. I just hate them. <laughs> I think they, they're fine people. They make fine content. I just hate the content. I think the people are great. I just don't like that type of content. I don't know why. I just don't. I'm not knocking anybody who does. It's just not for me. Greetings. Uh oh, love the odd ones out. Uh oh, I'm going to have gonna have a bit of, a bit of trouble in my community over here. <laughs> My gathering, but yeah, I don't, I don't mind him or anything. It's just I don't like that type of content. It's just ha I just have an irrational hatred towards it. <laughs> I just don't know why. I think it's fine. I watched the Odd Out video the other day because I was, because I don't know. I just showed my feed and I was like, oh, this is interesting. I mean, it's 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 it was fine. I just didn't. I'm just not a big uh, type of that animation guy. That's all. All right. Oops. Pretty much all clean here. What's going on, Finland Bricks? What is happening? We're pretty much end, ending the stream here. It's uh, It's been a great hour and a half. We had like seven viewers for a long time. That's pretty awesome. But that's it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to make it private. I'm going to edit. I'm going to say, like, this is where it actually gets interesting. And I'm going to put it on the channel. So, yeah. That's basically it for this. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back soon, tomorrow probably, making some more stuff. So this is a great start, and I want to see where it goes. I don't know where I'm going to put this or the mock, but we'll find space. I always do. See you, TJ Bricks. Thank you, everybody, second round. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for 650 subscribers. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Thanks.